Hey guys, what's up? I'm back here with you again, and I'm in Demolition Company Simulator. No, it's not Demolition Simulator. Demolition Company, that's what they called it. Um, we last played, we had the, um, I think I just completed the Jackhammer tutorial. Yes, I did. Okay, let's see if we have a new mission from our Demolition Company. Something utilizing that Jackhammer. Uh, we did break through. That was where we smashed the walls with the sledge. Vertigo, your next step is to dismantle the small hut on the building's roof. Um, this is a task for your jackhammer. Be careful working up there to avoid debris from falling on the roof. The red bar in the bottom right corner grows with each piece of rubble which falls to the ground. Uh, that's not good. And if it fills up entirely, the mission is considered a failure. Should you fall off the roof by accident, do not worry. In Demolition Company, you cannot get injured. That's good. And we got six grand for completing that before bonuses. Climb up the stairs to the building's roof where the hut is located. Take out your jackhammer and jackhammer it up. Okay. Apparently they've added things since we were last here. Like, I don't think that fridge was there. Is the metal, is the scrap metal back? Uh, I don't think so. Because that was, that was like 200 bucks per piece. Yeah, I don't think they put the scrap metal back. I guess we collected it all last time. Nah, there's nothing here. TV's still gone. <laughs> I blew that out the window last time. Alright, up we go. No. Uh, I think I missed that. I don't remember. I don't remember there being a bed there, though. Okay, jackhammer. So, what do we have to do? Take this thing down without it falling. Ugh. Without it falling off the roof. Um, okay. Let's see. This corner here is right on the edge. I'm going to start over here. And my idea here is that we get it to collapse uh, this way, if you can get what I'm saying. We'll keep as much of it on the top of the roof. I mean, if this whole... Am I doing anything? There we go. If this whole building is coming down, I don't really understand what the issue is with the you know, this building going off the side, but I guess it's a danger thing. Or maybe we don't want to hurt that building yet. Was this concrete? Did we... Oh, there it goes. Okay. So let's just totally blow out this side here. In fact, can I get in here? Should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Let me go from the inside and punch it out. Break it up. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um, so how... Oh, God, let me out. Oh, don't collapse on me. Can this... Oh, they said this can't destroy pieces, though. I have to get out the jackhammer, or the, uh, the hammer. Just so I can get out of here. There we go. Okay. Let me out, damn you. Still can't get out. It still won't let me out. Is it because it's collapsing on my head? Is that what's happening? Let me just destroy this here so I can get in, in and out quickly. Okay. Okay, that's good. Jackhammer. And can I just destroy the ceiling? Oh, you can too. Ha! Okay, so about a third done there. Um, hmm. Break this piece up. So I want to go down this side here. I'm wondering. Oh God! Don't go over. No, sir. Break you up with the with the sledge. Might need to get rid of some of these pieces so that it can fall down this way better. That makes sense. Oh, there's scrap metal over there. I can see it flashing. Is this doing anything to the ceiling? Am I not hitting the ceiling? Okay, back with the jackhammer. Well, that, that works. Uh just have this giant concrete block on my head. 
Yeah, don't worry about it. How much of this do we need to take down? Like, the entire thing? What? Well, that's a strong piece. Wow. Okay. So if I come on the outside and jackhammer in... I'm hoping it, it'll it fall in towards the building and not out towards me. That's my theory anyways. Oh, here it goes. Yes, go in, go in. How much... We still have a chunk of it left. Is this done? Did I break this up? I'm going to break up some of these pieces real quick. Is it just me, or does this sledgehammer seem to be getting more powerful, too? Because... I'm like one and two shotting these things. You get money. Oh my god, you get money when you destroy the bricks. I didn't even realize that. 60 bucks for that. I mean, I'm gonna go work for this company. $60 for breaking that up. Alright, back to the chat camera. Okay, this thing is almost done. Oh, no safety harnesses or nothing. I'm pro like that. You would have to pay me a lot of money in real life to be standing here. Wow. Man, they're really pushing the um, that whisk laundry detergent or whatever it is. There's like billboards for it everywhere. Are we done yet? My god. There we go. Mission complete. Oh, it's coming down. I'm getting out of the way. Coming out. Scrap metal. There was scrap metal. I was on the roof. You completed the assignment. Do you want to end the mission now? Yes, I do. So what do we get for that? $14,000 just for doing that. Um, yeah, works for me. Go ahead and continue. You've reached level three. You're now experienced enough to take assignments in the industrial area. Complete lucrative assignments several times to earn money for additional vehicles and tools. Let's see if there's anything new. So that's the new area down here, the yellow pin. Go back to the green that we've been working on. So we did Vertigo. Uh, the police station. There's a small building on the construction site, which supposedly used to be a police station. That is a small police station. Evidently, it has now been... It hasn't been used for anyone by anyone for decades, and you are now allowed to raise it to the ground. Well, wouldn't I be... Oh yeah, raising, right, right. Get behind the steering wheel of your mini excavator and start breaking down the old walls. I think I'm just going to drive right through it. If your vehicle gets stuck in the debris, you can dislodge obstructing pieces in of rubble with your jackhammer. And I guess we can break them up with the sledge, obviously. So this is basically just, you know, summarizing it again. I know how to, know how to do that part. So let's get inside this. Press E to enter. And what the hell is that? Oh, that's the compactor. That's where it can... Uh, you can break up rubble. Wickerson furniture. Okay. No, I don't want that. Yeah, this view here. How do I... There it goes. We'll turn it on. Okay. Now, what if I just drove... Oh, it lifts me right up. Okay. I'm going to start at the bottom, I think. Yep, for every brick we destroy, we're getting money, so that's really cool. Oh. Can I do any damage just by driving through it now, or? Let's just drive right through here and see what happens. Maybe I can back into it. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's probably not the, in the way this was intended to be used, but... Oh, we're getting stuck. Oh, I think I'm stuck on something. I am. I'm stuck on a... What am I stuck on? That? Wow. Is it... Am I hitting the truck, or... There we go. Okay. 
Okay, let's let's go back to using this properly. We'll turn it on. Oh, there's scrap metal. I'm gonna get that real quick. Should probably check inside the building, too. Yeah, that would have been one very small police station. Mm, nothing, okay. This thing turn off. I guess it turns off every time I get out of it. Uh, let's raise it up. Yeah, just smash into it. This is where a nice wrecking ball would really be handy. You just drop it right on top of this thing. So, it's a pretty simple game, as you can see. <laughs> it's, um, I think you can beat the entire thing in an afternoon. I'm pretty sure when I played it before, I finished it in an afternoon, and that was that was it. I didn't touch it for like a year. But if you like your Sims, it's fun. Yeah, just knock that down. Oh, they should have just given me like a an ex. Uh, this is an excavator, isn't it? Just a dump truck. Just bring in a giant dump truck here and just drive it right through this little building. So it looks like I'm weakening the wall. If I just keep this, this thing on it for a minute or so, you weaken the wall enough. I just pull it up like that and you kind of like weaken the wall and I just push through it. That's how I'm doing it anyways. Yeah, I'm going to turn around here, get better aligned. I should probably change my camera angle so I can see things. That would make sense. Um, can I... I want to tip this thing straighter. There we go. That's a better angle. Yeah, we'll get this guy. And then I think this entire... There it goes. Oop. This entire wall, hopefully I can just smash right through. Or not. There we go. There we go. Oh. Uh -oh. Get this part here. <laughs> Just pivot sideways, knock it all down. Okay, let's come around and finish this guy off. It's good, good, yeah. Almost done. Might need to go in and actually break some of these pieces up with a sledge. It looks like once they're down, you can just go in and and smack them, and they seem to break up a lot quicker. With a jackhammer. No, nothing. Okay. Is this doing anything, or...? It doesn't really seem to be doing much. What is this building made out of? Okay, I'm getting back in the excavator. A bulldozer, that's what I needed right here. A bulldozer. Just come on in and smash it. Oh, 
There it goes. No, don't tip over. There it goes. Anything else? Don't tell me I gotta take that pillar down. I don't think I can get there. There it goes. Mission complete. We'll just park this thing in the rubble. Mission complete. Yes, I do. I'm sick of that thing. So, another 23 grand for that. Um, now an entrepreneur. Let me go see if I can buy anything new, any new equipment. Destructor Mart. Uh, the next jackhammer, the Hornet, requires level 4 to use. We already have the mini excavator. Skid steer loader. No, I want the wrecking ball. 240 grand. Is that all that costs? Really? Doesn't have a level requirement on it, though. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's what I want right here. Any explosives? Sonic blaster. This appliance might look like a leaf blower, but it does way more than just move around a couple of leaves. The sonic blaster is a highly experimental device only a few chosen experts are allowed to handle. Are you one of them? Was that a million bucks? Required level seven and a million dollars. Okay. Nothing new there then. Hey, what's in here? No money down at Destructo Mart. They actually have the vehicles in their shop that you can see unlike some other company that just puts up cardboard cutouts um i guess we're back to the company for another job um thinking of finishing off this one if we can or maybe not missing equipment missing equipment i guess that's that let's go down to the new area the industrial district outside the city there is an old industrial district whose factories have been vacant for decades the crumbling buildings must give way to modern construction and you take charge of their demolition. Okay. Substation. Missing equipment. Um, what am I missing? The skid steer loader. You need $13,639 more to buy this device. Uh, okay. So can I not do anything here? Apparently I can't. And was there nothing to do here? Do I really have to do an another mission? Like repeat the missions? Wait a minute, what was that? Oh, explosives level one. Due to an unexpectedly fierce storm, part of the building's top floor has already collapsed. Thanks to the incident, the building's detonation has been given the green light. All right. Place explosive charges in the building and activate the detonator. Once you have reached a safe distance, try to conduct the detonation in a controlled manner. Yeah, I'll do my best. And prevent debris from flying out of the construction site or colliding with nearby buildings. Okay, time limit, six minutes. $24,000 if we're successful. You have enough money to buy this device for five grand. Okay, level one, C4, or whatever it is. And we'll need the jackhammer. Let's go ahead and do that one. So you press the three key to select the explosive charge. If you own more than one type of explosive, you can switch between them by pressing three repeatedly. Place the charges by pressing the left mouse button. The charge will be placed at the spot you're looking at. If you're too far away from the surface, the charge will be dropped on the floor. Okay. If you want to pick up an already placed charge, you can press R while standing near it. Well, that's good to know. Leave the building once you've placed enough charges. Press 3 until you take out the detonator and activate it by pressing the left mouse button. If the building wasn't completely destroyed by the first detonation, you can place more charges and blow up those as well. Very good. There they are, level 1. And here's the detonator. And he's got the gloves on. Okay, so we want to do what? Blow up this entire building? We have three charges, it looks like. So... Yeah, I'm thinking of putting them on the ground floor. Ooh, scrap metal. Maybe we should go through this entire place and see if there's any scrap to pick up first. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, maybe that was the only piece. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Anything on the top floor? No. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was another floor above this, wasn't there? And it got taken out by a storm. Now, if I remember, there's no fall damage. Nope. All right. Let's put one in this corner. Uh, left click. There we go. Yeah, we'll just kitty corner it. It'll just float in the air. That's cool. And I'm thinking one in this corner. One in that corner. 
or one right here. Oh, one in this corner. And the last one under the stairs or right here. I'm going to I'm going to put that right there. And we're ready to go. Should I just stand in the middle and blow it up? There was no fall damage, so maybe there's no explosive damage. I'm not going to risk it. Okay, ready? We're far enough back. Big Rolo track. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was lackluster. Is that all it did? What? Maybe I was supposed to place them on the outside of the building. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, it did a lot to this side of the building. Hmm. Jesus, I thought that would have... Um. Wait a sec. There's a delayed reaction. Yeah, okay, I'm getting out of here. Is it coming down, or...? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't climb back up the inside that building. Is that it, or do you need... Oh my god, so close. Really? I'm not I'm not using another explosive, because I'm pretty sure if you use the explosives... I don't really want to get under that. I'm pretty sure if every time you use an explosive, it, you lose money off your, your total in the end. Can I just break up the pieces? Here, I'll just climb up on this stuff. doing anything? Did it, is it moving the green bar? I think it is, too, because I'm seeing the money come up. Now, I could probably just throw a charge up on here and be done with that real quick, but like I said, every time you use another charge, you lose money. Yeah, I see the green bar moving. Ugh. Ugh. Getting out of here. Mission complete. Okay. We just took down that building. Yes, let's end this. $44,615 we just made. So yeah, regular demo, fifteen grand for that, and it costs 600 bucks. So what was that, $200? Uh, so every time we throw down a level 1 demo charge, it's 200 bucks. 24000 So we got 15000 for doing the regular demo. 24000 for completing it successfully? It doesn't. That's more money than what we got. We were contracted to do the job. But okay, and that's six thousand for time, and then a six hundred dollar cost. So that's pretty good. Six hundred dollar cost, and we made forty four thousand six fifteen. That was just on this job. New capital eighty five, almost eighty six thousand dollars, and fourteen hundred experience. Only one scrap metal. There was five scrap metals on that level. As a rule, buy the cheaper vehicles first. These normally lead to more lucrative assignments, which earn you enough money to buy the larger machines later on. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, you know what? Let me go ahead and end this one here. Um, we'll pick it up in the next one. If you like, go ahead and uh, hit that like button, sub, or leave comments and let me know what you think. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Later.